we will now introduce version two of the chain rule. I'm not going to make this video super long because it's never been my observation that more talking translates into more student learning. But you should understand that this is one of the most important sections of this class, one of the most important topics. And you should make it a major priority to master this material and to master it as quickly as possible. Suppose you have a function that is the composition of two other functions. And you want to take its derivative. Let's give these two functions names, f will be the outside function, g will be the inside function. The chain rule says to take this derivative, you differentiate the outside function. You stick the inside function inside of the derivative. And then you multiply by the derivative of the inside function. This is version two of the chain rule. Let's return to this derivative. We took it using version one of the chain rule. Now let's take it again. So to use the chain rule, you have to recognize that you've got composition. You see we're taking the sign of something, but we're not taking the sign of x. We're taking the sign of some function. This is composition. The sign is the outside function. The quadratic is the inside function. And what does the chain rule say to do as far as derivatives go? Well, we should take the derivative of the outside function, the derivative of two times the sine is two times the cosine. So there's the derivative of the outside function. And we should stick the inside function inside. Two times the cosine of x squared plus x minus 1. And now we should multiply by the derivative of the inside function by 2x plus 
plus one. There's the derivative according to version two of the chain rule. And of course, also with a derivative according to version one of the chain rule. It would hardly do to do the same problem twice and get two different answers. Let's do one more example. We'll go up here so that the chain rule remains visible on our screen. That's that H of X be the sign of X to the fifth power. Another way of writing this is the sine of x all raised to the fifth power. And this might make it more obvious that we've got composition going on. What do we have here? Well, we have something raised to the fifth. So we sort of have a power function, except instead of x, X raised to the fifth, we have the sine of X raised to the fifth. This is a composition. The power is outside, the sine is inside. Notice, by the way, that this terminology, outside and inside function, tends to be very literal. In both these examples, the inside function is literally inside parentheses. What's the derivative then? Let me cover up that distraction. Well, according to the chain rule, we should take the derivative of the outside function. And the derivative of the fifth power brings the five down and reduces it to four. What goes here? Well, according to the chain rule, we should stick the inside function in there. So the sine of x. And then we should multiply by the derivative of the inside function the derivative of the sine is the cosine. And that's our solution. In spite of the importance of the chain rule, I'm not going to do a bunch more examples. I mean, I'm not going to do any more examples. I'm going to just have the two that I did. And that's just because calculus is primarily learned by doing it. I don't think you need to watch me do a bunch more examples. I think you need to attempt those yourself. So there's, of course, a lengthy homework assignment on this material. But I'm going to call this video here.